Hello everybody. Today we're going to do a review of my ICS M4A1 Olympic Arms. Just got this back a few days ago from ePower Sports. They uh, uh, installed a ICS free float rail system for me and new wiring because long story short, as soon as I got the rifle, like the day I got it, which was about two weeks ago, I had this thing and I took it apart, tried to put the rest of them on myself, thinking that I knew it all and knew what I was doing. It was a complete failure. It was a botched attempt to put it on. So a couple days after that, I sent it to ePower to have the wiring redone because I snagged the wiring as I was uh, closing the upper receiver. So they replaced that and they installed the rail system for me. And they did a fantastic job. So we'll jump right into the review of the gun. I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time. Normally I walk you through every single detail of what's plastic. And which I'll stu still do now, but I'm going to try a different method. So there are only two plastic components, or should I say nylon fiber components, on this rifle. That's the pistol grip and the stock. Everything else that you see is made out of aluminum or steel or a combination of the two. So the, again, law enforcement stock, at least stock is nylon fiber, buffer tubes metal, trigger, trigger guards metal, the receiver is metal, of course, it's made of aluminum, bolt catch is metal, fire selector switch, the carry handle is made of aluminum, and of course you got the top rail to mount whatever excess uh, whatever optic you choose this side of the mag release is metal Ooh. there we go sorry my that was an OCD moment but an OCD moment okay, this side of the selector switch is a, oh of course metal forgive me about that stutter Mag release is metal. This magazine that we got is plastic. It's a mag brand mid cap, but you'll get a 450 round metal high cap with the gun. The Ford assist is metal. Your charging handle is metal. Dust cover is metal. Bolt cover is metal. Pop up on this rifle is metal. It's an up. It's they did some updates. To to the ICS guns at one point in time. I noticed there's some things on this rifle which I'll go into detail later that I did not see on my older ICS M4A1. I had the anniversary model, the, an the anniversary edition with the skeleton folding stock and the free float rails. That's one reason why I bought this gun. It's kind of make a, I guess another variant of that gun with some slight differences. Because I no longer have it. A friend of mine has it. I gave it to him as a deposit for a project way back like three four years ago we've got a free float rail system which is of course aluminum and it takes up the uh, delta ring so you'll lose your delta ring when you put this on but it's so much better than having a, a rail system with a delta ring or a hand guard really it's rock solid it doesn't move an inch at all. I've got three plastic rail covers on here. These are JG. The PEQ box is ICS. It's missing a couple tabs so I have actually some electrical tape holding it in place. I have little tiny strips that I cut. Still have to locate the proper battery for it. Right now I just have a 9.6 butterfly. I'm gonna go for a nunchuck or a 7.4 light pole. Metal uh, front sight. Front sight post is metal. Outer barrel, metal. Flash hider is metal. Or aluminum, I should say. And of course, the inner barrel. 363 millimeters. That is brass. Okay, now going into some features of the rifle. The bolt catch does not move. It, in fact, holds the wiring in place, which I find to be very, very, very useful. Although it has no real function. It's great to have something that's holding wiring in place. 
Um, this was not here. I mean, this I did not see before. My old gun. Non-gun, trigger only. That's, uh, that's a little bit... That's very informative, but kind of cool to have, I guess. Uh, the four assist. Only ICS guns and maybe some GNG or classic armies have this. But when you depress the forward assist, which is metal, I don't know if I covered that already, it will release the spring tension in the upper gearbox. So that way you don't have a tight spring over time if your spring doesn't wear out. So, method is when you finish playing on the field, dump your mag, dry fire twice, press your forward assist, release spring tension, save your spring. Okay, and of course, we'll look at the trades here. We got the Olympic Arms trades. These guys actually make real AR 15s, real firearms. So, it's officially licensed by Olympic Arms. It's got that bland dude in the front and this side of the receiver. Another cool feature about the ICS. M16 M4 line, focus, focus, is that, if you excuse me here for a minute, let me set the camera down and I'm gonna grab some few, few magazines. I like the magazine compatibility of this, of the ICS guns. I've had that with my old gun. Son of a bitch, focus. So. I've got three different mags here. This is a KWA mid cap. It's based off the Magpul uh, P mag. Elite Forest mid cap, painted tan. And the ICS orange if you don't high cap. So, of course, that's going to fit an ICS. Like so. Mag brand will fit. KWA will fit. And the Elite Force will fit. Okay. And I really like this rifle. I haven't shot it yet. We we'll haven't yet to see how it does on the field. I'm going to use this for my modern airsoft kit. Uh, I've got a KSC Glock 19 as well to pair with this. That's what I what I used with my older ICS M4. I ran that, and the uh, I had a KWA Glock 19, but the KSC is pretty much the same thing, just a little more features and real Glock trades. So plans for this rifle. I have an ACOG for it, but it's dead. I gotta get a new battery for it. Oh, excuse me. Just ate dinner. I like the LE stock, but I would like to get a crane stock eventually. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Maybe a Gemtech silencer. Maybe. We'll see. I'm just trying to keep it as how I would have run it back then if I had more money. Because I was like 16 years old when I bought my old gun. And uh, I'll try to add some pictures of it if iMovie allows me to do it. Oh, and one other important feature before we end this video and if I have enough time the most important feature is the split gearbox of the ICS so you see a rear takedown pin here classic stock push this out it will cooperate with me Son of a bitch, please cooperate. If this takes too long, you can fast forward it. You just need the right tool for the right job. Ah, yeah, there we go. So, the very takedown pin is right there. So part two, you've got the gun open, you have your two gearboxes, here's your upper, here's your lower gearbox. So you can switch the upper gearbox for another one. 
can set it to the FPS that you want. It makes it a whole lot easier maintaining the gun. You can do it like literally like a system. You can change the FPS of the gun just like that. And that's all my that I got to cover on this rifle. It's really good. I haven't shot it yet, but I'm pretty much familiar with the ICS AR type rifle. Definitely brings me back again to high school when I had the M41 anniversary model. Like I said, my plan in the future is to get a crane stock, maybe a jump tech silencer, put my eight collar on there. And I'll be set. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I've got more videos coming in the future. I think the next review we'll do is of that Tokyo Murray M16A2. Thanks for watching. Okay, everybody, prepare for a bit of a throwback here. We're going back to the year 2009. This is my old ICS M4A1 anniversary. I bought it for $325 back then, which was a lot of money. And I did some work to it, got it running, and I went through some trials and errors of it. See, that 16-year-old me? I was so young. <laughs> and that's when I put every, everything together, like three days after I got the gun. And I'll let to do the pictures. I'll let the pictures do the talking for you at this point so thanks for watching this video